we started off in the circle talking about toad and not toad. And initially they were really hesitant. They got the idea of frog is not toad, but it took them some time to get beyond that. And after a couple of people started getting some ideas, they, the answers started flying. For some of them, it definitely kind of built to the way that I think it naturally would for us, that you start with, okay, these other animals are not toads, and then you could build beyond that. But for some, you know, it's whatever they can see. Oh, look, that table's not a toad. So it, it differs by kid, which was really fascinating to watch. They had such a high energy level and so much excitement about it that we sent them back to their tables and just had folded a paper in half for each kid and had them on one side draw toad and one side draw not toad. That's one of the beauties of that, though, was that it could be anything. It's nice for them to have that chance to feel like, look, the things I think are important are important here. Right, so then we started with a medium-sized think block and said, Remember that picture you just drew of toad? What were those parts of a toad? And we took the little think blocks and put them in for all the different parts. What are the different parts of this toad? Now, I was actually amazed at how much was coming out from little things that had been said on the field trip, but something like they close their eyes when they eat. I'd forgotten that, and I think it was someone who doesn't normally participate. We focused mostly on the physical, but they definitely were talking about things that were characteristics and attributes, which I hadn't expected. We filled up a medium-sized think block with the little ones. Um, and then we took that medium-sized one and put it in a big one and said, okay, so what could this toad be a part of? And it's not the first time that we've gone that way with a hole becoming a part, but it's still very challenging for them. Somebody came up with the idea that a toad is a part of his fa its family. And this is a little boy that, and we are worried there's learning disabilities. In the traditional paper pencil task, we don't see this thinking. Yeah. And even in regular classroom discussions, we're not seeing his thinking. So for him to have been listening to his friends and catching that part and then it just kind of popped out of his mouth like he looked shocked after he said it but you can tell now we can see what actually was going on in his mind he was engaged and thinking and trying to apply all this stuff which we don't see otherwise we ended up then sending them back to their seats saying okay draw a toad right in the middle of your paper and then draw all the stuff around the toad so we could see what else the toad might be a part of or when they went back to their tables they weren't expected to draw a detailed part of the toad. It just happened because we'd had this conversation. Their toad picture was so much more detailed. And you can tell that they had really, from the conversation with the think blocks and adding each of those little parts in, they had suddenly transferred the idea. So when they came back to the carpet, back in a circle, they were really excited. A lot of them had drawn pictures of the toad in its habitat. I said, okay, so now let's imagine how the toad sees this pond. So all of you, right where you are, just pretend to be toads and look at the pond and see what you see. They're all on four legs, hopping a little bit in place. And we sat back down and said, all right, so how does the toad see the pond? What does the toad see when it looks at the pond? One little boy, another one that, that we're a little concerned about, um, that we've had up for, for looking at for, for concerns about special needs, said, the toad sees big, beautiful bugs to eat. And so we immediately talked a little bit about, oh, well, how would that look to us if we were at the pond? Okay, so we see the pond differently than the toad sees the pond. How do the bugs see the to toad? How does this look to the fish? How does it look um, kind of to build on what they were really starting to grasp? I, I think actually the perspectives, once they've seen a little bit of it, is something they leap into. I've really been surprised by that. It fascinates me to watch them take perspectives.